Good evening, Nati. Good evening, Nati. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry, I had a problem. There was a uh, uh, blackout, so the, the electricity went out. I had to restart the computer because of that. So I'm sorry about that. It's okay. You know, it just started raining over here. Do you, do you listen to that? Really? Yeah, it's raining mm -hmm. over here. <laughs> Can you hear now? Oh, yes. <laughs> it's raining really, really strong. Yeah, it's raining cats and dogs, right? <clears throat> yeah, I think that's why the electricity just went out. Oh, uh, right okay. Now. Yes. All right. Let me just get the uh, presentation over here so we can start uh, the class right away. So one second. All right, so in the meantime, I'm going to take advantage of this time. Um, so, Nati, did you finish the platform already, or are you working on, let's say, section four, or maybe section five, or or less than that? So, good evening, uh, Tanya. I have already finished the platform today. Nice, nice. All right. So, you have more than 80% 80, uh, 80 in the platform. I think so. All right. Okay. What is something, I don't know, difficult for you out of the platform, maybe a listening or some grammar that you think it would be useful for your classmates to uh, double check with me, maybe? Um, I think the present perfect versus the... The simple pass. <laughs> the simple pass, yes. It's a All little right. bit confused. All right. Yeah, that's my plan today and also next week to review the simple present versus the, uh, I'm sorry, the simple past versus the present perfect, okay? And in this class, that's what we're going to be working on, all right? Okay. Yes, that's the plan over here. So one second. All right, so I'm just looking for the right slide. So here, okay, I found it. Here we go. And let's see. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yes. All right, so do you remember, this is what we uh, did last, uh, I mean, yesterday, last night, uh, I was this presentation, I mean, this uh, conversation between James and a start, you know, a, a start to be. And we also reviewed this, the indirect questions, which I think are important for us to uh, learn them and practice in them whenever you have the time, all right? Now, the next topic that I have for you tonight, it's the present perfect structure. And then it's going to be the present perfect versus that simple past. And as you know, that present perfect is used for an action that has happened or that happened in the, in the past, but you have 
done the action many times, okay? It not only happens, uh, you know, it, it didn't only happens once, and that's the point over here, okay? For example, if you say, uh, I uh, ate pupusas, I would say last Saturday, and I ate pupusas today in the morning, that means that you have eaten pupusas two times, and that's the present perfect, all right? If there's still a possibility that an action, you know, can be repeated in the future, you need to use that present perfect, okay? Uh, you, you can also say, um, I have, I don't know, uh, been to, to Puerto de la Libertad, I don't know, like three times, it may be in this uh, Christmas, you're gonna go to El Puerto de la Libertad. So that means you're gonna go a fourth time. So you can say, I have been to El Puerto de la Libertad three times already, okay? That's just one example, as you can see there. Now, what's the structure? The structure is you have the subject plus have or has, and the verb, it's the past participle. So if you say, you, you gotta use have, all right? If you say they, you gotta use have. If you say Maria and Jose, it's they, right? But if you say uh, my mom, my brother, and I, that's we, okay? So we gotta be careful with that. I'm sorry about the rain. It's raining out a lot over here. So, and this is the verb in its base form. And this one, it's the verb in the past tense, right? Okay. And this one in the third column, it's the verb in its past participle. In Spanish, that means ido, ado, right? Comido, viajado, etc. right? Like almorzado, something just like that, right? Uh, and if you use he or she, like, you would say Jose, uh, you would say, uh, I would say Tanya, Nati, etc. or Manuel, for example, or if you want to say like my dog, you got to use has, all right? But you know this already, you say. And this is just the verb in a simple present form. This is the past, and this is the present perfect, okay? So you can say she has done the laundry twice this week, all right? Like you have washed the clothes, okay? He has, he has uh, done the platform already, or he has done, uh, I would say the uh, section two, two times, all right? So as you can see, this is the structure of the present perfect uh, tense. All right, but now let's talk about this, okay? Now, take a look at this. Let me just uh, hide this. So what about that simple past, all right, versus the present perfect, okay? And you know, tonight I have a, uh, I have a conversation that I type myself, okay? that is going to help you exemplify the difference of present perfect versus the simple past over here okay so i'm just going to i'm just going to read the the rule right now just for everybody to be on the same page okay present perfect you must always use the present perfect when the time of an action is not important or not specified Okay, and you must use, or you must always, okay, you must always use the simple past when details about the time or place that an action occur are given or requested. So in other words, uh, everyone, for the present perfect, the time in which the action happens, it doesn't really matter, right? So the, uh, the time of an action is not important, okay? But for the simple past, yes, 
the time or the place of an action, it's important, okay? It's important, you know, it's requested. So you must always use, okay, the, the uh, specific time. For example, I'm gonna ask, uh, let's see, Tanya, help us please with the present perfect and then the simple past with all the sentences that we have over, please, if you don't mind. Just help us read, please. Uh, number one, uh, I have lived in Lyon. I live in Lyon in 19... Uh, 89. Yes. All right, just help us with that one because I can see that you are still a little bit sick with the flu, so I don't want to, you know, make you speak too much over here. Okay, uh, so Nati, would you like to help us please with the rest? Uh, number two, three, four, and five. Okay. They have eaten Thai food. They ate Thai food last night. Okay. Have you seen Otelo? Mm -hmm. Where did you see Otelo? Mm -hmm. We have been to Ireland. When did you go to Ireland? All right, so my point is the following, everyone. If the action, I mean, if the time in which the action happens is not a specific, you gotta use that present perfect. Or, if the action can be repeated, like in the case I just told you, they have eaten, let's say, pupusas this week, all right? And, and the, the past will be, they ate pupusas last night. Why are we using that present perfect over here? Because maybe you're going to eat pupusas this Sunday, right? In that case, you're gonna say they have eaten pupusas three times this way, all right? And that would be the main difference. If an action is completed already, like you can say, I studied um, high school in colegio, and then you say the name, that happens already because you already graduated, okay? So time expressions or the years are the ones that are going to give you that clues or the hints over here. In this case, the time expression is 1989, last nine and in this case is you're asking about this all right uh, uh, a, a play all right it's a play okay una obra and this one is when did you go to ireland it's asking you when the specific time over there. all right any questions so far i'm going to explain this in more detail right now all right so but look at this look at this chart it says, what's the difference, present perfect and past simple, okay? And let me just uh, verify something over here. The present perfect and finish actions that is studied in the past and continue to the present. For example, I can say I have known Julie for 10 years and, I'm, and I still know her. He conocido, conozco a Julia. For 10 años, y obviamente, o sea, si no se ha muerto, so you're gonna use this, the, the, uh, the present perfect. And in this case, is simple past for a finished action, all right? I knew Julie for 10 years, but then she moved away and, and we lost touch, all right? So, what happens on this one? The person you, you knew does no longer live in the neighborhood, so she moved away, or maybe she died, she passed away. So uh, that's why you're using the past, all right? Example number two, a, a finished action in someone's life. For example, when the person is still alive, life experience. And then you have, my brother has been to Mexico three times. Why are we using that present perfect? Because maybe my brother is going to go to Mexico next year because that's his favorite place to spend vacation, all right? And when he goes to uh, Mexico next year, that's gonna be a fourth time, right? It's gonna be the fourth time. That's why we're using that present perfect, okay? 
Now, on the other hand, we have uh, the simple past, and it's a finished action in someone's life, okay? When the person is dead, all right? Like this, my great-grandmother went to Mexico three times, all right? So she passed away, so that means that she can no longer go to Mexico, okay? So up to this point, do you have any questions about this? Is there any questions about this so far? Uh, me, uh, I see that the last, the last page, uh, you say that we can use uh, present perfect in places. Uh -huh. you can move at the... I can barely hear you, Edwin. Edwin, I can barely hear you. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you better now. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Uh, well, uh, I heard you that you say that we can use present perfect. Uh, we uh, when uh, we say something about places. Uh huh. Uh, I had a question uh, for the last page. Can you move on the last page? The previous one, you mean? This one. Yes. Uh, when you use where did you see Otello? Uh, I believe that Otello is a is a person, no? No, Otello. You see, it's it's in uh, it's in quotation marks. It's una obra de teatro. It's a play, Otello. Oh. So that's what oh. I say. It's a play, play, not place. Play, play como jugar means obra de teatro. Play. Yeah, excuse me, Edwin, do you still have the question, Mora? No, 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 because I believe that you say places. No, it's not place, it's play, like uh, when you play soccer, for example. Oh, okay. Thanks, thanks, Jen. All right. Yeah, but let's say, Edwin, just to finish your idea, let's say that, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask you, so Edwin, what's your favorite place to go on vacation, if you have the chance? Let's say maybe... A beach here in El Salvador, or, or, or a lake. Yes. But which which one would you? What's what's your favorite place? Uh, well, the uh, Imposible. All right. So it would be uh, Parque Imposible. And have you been there? Like I don't know, maybe recently or or. No, I haven't. You haven't. All right. But imagine, imagine that that's your favorite place. In every Christmas, I would say it's a tradition for you to go there. And let's say you go there every year and you have uh, been uh, there, let's say, five times already. And this year, uh, you want to go again. But because of COVID-19, it's, it's, let's say, impossible to go there. So you can say, I have only been or I have only visited Parque Imposible, let's say uh, five times, all right, or three times, because you want to go again and there's still the possibility that you know that you will go in the future over there, all right. So, and that's and that's uh, the main difference between the person perfect. Uh, let me ask you, have you been to San Miguel? No, you have never been to Samir. What about Santana? Or or are you in Santana? No, right. Well, it's the, the liver, to be honest. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see. Have you been to... Uh... All right. So could you tell me a place, like, out of your hometown that you you that you that had visited because of... Your... Uh, my hometown is Tepecoyo. All right. Tepecoyo, you said? <laughs> yes. All right. So let's see. It, it, do, during the quarantine, all right? During the quarantine. Back in, uh, let's say, in June or, or, or August, during the, during the quarantine, did you go to, to your hometown? No. Oh. All right, okay. So I'm gonna, I can ask you in, in the person perfect, have you, have you been to your hometown? Have you visited your, your parents recently? Uh, no, I haven't visited. 
Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can just say, no, I haven't, right? Or no, just like that. Why are we using the present perfect over there? Because maybe uh, this coming weekend, you're going to go and visit your parents, okay? So you can say, I visited my parents uh, last weekend, and, and you can say, I, I didn't visit them uh, during the quarantine because the quarantine is over, right? Okay, yeah. but imagine the opposite, Edwin. Imagine that, that you visited your parents one, two, or three times, and you want to go again this coming weekend. So you can say, I have, I have visited my parents recently or i have visited my parents uh, three times you know during this covid 19 uh, emergency you can say that okay mm -hmm. so well uh only for being more clearly if mm -hmm. i am for completely the action i had to use always simple pass correct if, for example if you bought a if you bought a cell phone let's say you just bought it. You cannot take it back, right? <laughs> Unless they take it from you, right? A cell phone. Yeah, let's say you pay for the cell phone, right? Or you, 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 you purchase or you bought a computer. So that happens already, okay? You cannot say I have bought the computer two times because you only pay for the computer only once, right? O sea, no va a pagar dos veces por la computadora o por el teléfono. No va a decir yo he pagado dos veces. <laughs> Thanks, You're welcome, sir. No, 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 don't worry about it. So, uh, you know, for me, it's actually better if you ask questions over there. Like in this case, that you thought it was place, but it's actually play. Yeah, you can actually ask that. But uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, so my friends, my point is if the action can happen more than one time, in that case, you need to use that person perfect. Like, and the best example I can, I can tell you is uh, I have never eaten pupusa de camarón, okay? I have never eaten pupusa de camarón, all right? But what if, if I ate, um, let's see, uh, last, uh, let's see, last Christmas or last, last year, I can say I have eaten uh, pupusa de camarón, let's say, a couple of times. I can say that. Because maybe in the future for my next vacation, I'm gonna be eating pupusas again in cam of camarón or shrimp, like, like we say, uh, in Puerto over there, or in my favorite place. I can tell you that. All right. Um, la, now let's continue with this one, please. And with the, and I'm just gonna finish this uh, this uh, explanation, and then we're gonna jump to some exercises like this one. You're gonna be working in purse. You're gonna have these uh, conversations to practice. And if there is time, we're gonna practice this conversation between Luis, um, I'm sorry, between Maria and Chepe, as you can see here. Yeah, the, na the names are Chepe and Maria, I just wrote this. In this conversation, uh, they are explaining or they're talking about the difference between the simple pressing and, um, and sorry, the simple pass and the present perfect. O sea, esta es la oportunidad perfecta para practicar, porque aquí le están explicando en la conversación. All right. But just to finish my, my, my explanation, I, and I don't want to like, like uh, bore you with this. So I finish action with a result in the present. I have lost my keys. The result is that I can't get into my house. But this is not very common. All right. This is not very common. So I don't want you to get confused. So try not to use this one all right it's better if you say i lost my keys yesterday okay but in the, there are cer certain expressions that you can use the either the simple pass or the uh or the present perfect okay but bottom line is better to use the simple pass okay so that, that would be the, the, the difference over there. Now let's continue with this. With an unfinished uh, time word this week, this month, and today. I have seen John this week, all right? You have seen John maybe uh, this week, but you're, you're not specifying like when or how many times, okay? 
and the other one when when with a finished time word like last week last month all right this one okay But try not to get confused. The main difference is if the action, uh, it's, it, it, it has some frequency or some repetition, use the present perfect, all right? If the action is totally completed in the past, use the simple past, okay? Like you, like you said, I went to school last year, et cetera, over there. So right now, what you're gonna do uh, is to uh, listen to this conversation, all right? Which we have, when was the last time? they saw each other, okay? What does she want to do? What has changed in his life? Does the woman know Rosa? So I'm gonna send to you the, the, the material, the access to this, okay? And you're gonna practice this, okay? First of all, you're gonna take the quiz and, and then uh, once you are done with the, with the quiz, you're gonna practice in parts. Okay, please. So any other questions so far? So Edwin asked me already, but I need to know if, if you actually understand this or if you want me to you know, give another example or if it's better for me to continue with this. Ustedes mandan. Any questions? Everything clear right now, like horchata or, <laughs> or worse than that. <laughs> you know, like this coffee I'm drinking right now, which is like very dark. <laughs> I mean, can you say yes or not or something like that? Or Here, I have a question. Go ahead, please. Okay, um, it's a little bit confused uh, with the verbs. Right. I don't know how to conjugarlo. For example, mm -hmm. uh, um, there are some verbs that you don't the, that the, doesn't change. Correct. That that is a little bit confused for me. Okay. The word. Yeah, I see your point over there. Let me share the screen with you. And uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, Nati, there is no magic formula that I can share with you. The only thing you can do is to learn the verbs that you read or that you see or that you watch or hear. Okay. And that's the best advice I can give you, all right? Because if I tell you, so Nati, here you have 50 verbs, okay, that you can learn, okay, it's gonna be too much for you. But what I can also tell you is to look for regular and irregular verbs, like the most common ones. Those ones, I can share them with you, but I'm not telling you, memorizing, no, I'm not saying that, okay? Because I believe that you learn this, you know, uh, step by step, like in conversations, in the listening, in the vocabulary, okay? And let me just exemplify it to you right now. So let me just one second. In the meantime, uh, let me send the, the link uh, to you for the material, okay? So, so you can uh, take the listening uh, later on more. So I'm just sending that to you right now, okay? Now let me let me share the screen uh, again over here, and um, I'm going to exemplify this to you. O sea, voy a poner verbos regulares y verbos irregulares, okay? Pero en realidad no hay una forma como yo le, le dijera, verdad? La forma es si usted los se los encuentra, apréndaselo. ¿verdad? No es memorizar 50 verbos de una sola vez. Esa no es la idea. Se lo digo por experiencia porque se se, se olvida. All right? Pero lo que sí tienen que entender es lo siguiente. Que sí tienen el verbo work. All right. And then you have the verb. Um, let's say, let me just think of something. Uh, listen, no, listen, no. Is um, this. All right, this one. All right. The problem is that work is regular verb. And when you make it uh, into the past, you gotta go worked. All right, and the third one, la que utilizamos para el presente perfecto es worked, okay. Lo que pasa que el verbo, los verbos regulares en pasado, okay, y en, y en pasado participio con la terminación ado e ido, 
they don't change, all right? Se pronuncian igual, solamente que en su, solo, que usted en su mente, so in your mind, you make the translation, and it makes sense to you. This is the past participle, okay? This one, right below, over there. So, for example, read. Read doesn't change, you know, the spelling doesn't change. In this case, it's just the pronunciation is red and red over there. So I can tell you over here, I work at 8 p.m., all right, every day. But I can, tell, I can tell you I worked uh, until, until uh, 11 p.m. yesterday, right? Trabajé hasta esa hora. And I can tell you, si he trabajado más de una vez, I have worked. I have worked. No, in that case, I have worked. That's a different uh, tense, Edwin. Ese es otro tiempo. That's present perfect oh, okay. continuous. That's present perfect continuous. Like I have, I have been working. That's something else. Uh, I have worked uh, uh, very late this week. All right. So you see, the verb is the same as the past. And the past participle is the same over there, but this is a regular verb. And I know this because I have seen this verb uh, many times. Okay. But in the case of read, it's, a, it's an irregular verb. Es decir, que aquí no hay regla, solamente se los tiene que aprender. La regla la única de esta es pronunciation, because you see it like the color red. You say read, red, and red. Traducción, leer, leí, leído. All right. So and I can I can uh, give you an example over here. I read a uh, the news every morning. All right, leo las noticias. I read the main uh, news yesterday. All right. Si no las leí todas, solo leí las 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 más principales. I read the, the main news yesterday. Y como ese es un hábito que yo tengo y lo lo he hecho varias veces. I have read many important news this week. Existe la posibilidad de, de que yo siga leyendo. You see? I have read many important news this week. Esto es opción mío ponerle cosas para darle más contexto. All right? But if I give you the, the following verb, let's see, uh, write. So what would be the past tense of write? Rope. Exactly, you say rope, right? And be careful with the pronunciation, right? You don't say written, you say written. You know, you say written, written, like important. That's how you, that's how you need to say it over there. So you got written, okay? You may say, I wrote an email yesterday and I have written uh, many or thousands of, e of emails this week, all right? So that's the present perfect over there. And then, then I give you another verb, uh, Nati or somebody else, cook, right? So. This is a very common verb. You can say cooked, and the past participle is cooked as well over there. You see? So that's why the most I can do for you is just to share a list of the most common uh, regular verbs and a list of the most common regular verbs. Just uh, irregular, I'm sorry, just like read, and just like uh, write, etc. Eso es lo más que puedo hacer. Compartirles, digamos, estos son regulares y estos son irregulares. Si son regulares, solo le agrega ed. Cuidado con la pronunciación, pero es lo mismo. Para el, y, y esta tercera columna, which is past participle, es la que se ocupa en el present perfect, which is this one. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, en write, si usted quiere decir, yo he escrito cinco libros, <laughs> por así decirlo, right, you have to say, I have written five books. All right, because you are a writer, okay? But you can also say, I have never written a book. You can say that too, all right? So we have to be very careful. Así que si ustedes lo permiten, me permiten, mañana o el fin de semana, yo busco una lista o les escribo los más comunes y se los mando. De esa forma usted, aun si no lo sabe, por lo menos revisa la lista y dice, okay, ese es regular, solo le agrego ed. All right? And then you just learn the pronunciation of that. I think that would be the best way to do so, all right? What do you say about that? Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, yes. Sometimes, you know, I, I want to give you like, I don't know, like maybe no homework or extra material, but I know you guys are, are, are very busy during the day. And 
due to the circumstances and I would say due to the, the uh, nature, o sea, de la naturaleza, the nature of this uh, type of, uh, I would say, methodology, the, all the exercises and all the work you do is through the platform. So that's why. But if you were my students in a classroom, you know, with a paper copy of a book, I would just give you a list of verbs, fill in the blanks exercises. I would just give you, let's say, uh, some things to, to uh, sing and repeat and everything. That's totally different. But right now, that's the most I can do for you, okay? But let's move on over here. So uh, I just sent to you the, the, uh, the listening, which is uh, present perfect experiences, that's the name. So, so why don't you just play it and then, uh, but I think this is something different what I just sent to you over there, right? Yeah, it's different. But play the listening, please, uh, individually. Mute your microphones, please. And then send the scores to me, please, if you don't mind. Okay? okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you. Let me just mute your microphones over here. All right, so I'm waiting for your responses over here, okay? Thank you. All right, so I think uh, you are done uh, listening to this. So right now, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, you're gonna be practicing two things with your classmates, okay? So in this case, uh, I'm gonna give you an extra exercise. In this case, it's gonna be some grammar practice. This one, the one you're just looking on, on my screen, okay? So the first thing you're gonna practice is the uh, conversation uh, you just listened to, all right? This one. Okay, just look for the part that says script, this part, please, and just practice, all right? Maybe just one time or two times, all right? And, and then once you practice this, you're gonna move to this exercise, which, which states, choose past simple or present perfect. And it says, change the verb into the correct form of the past simple or present perfect. In this case, you're not going to write anything if you don't want to, but if you want to just take notes, that's okay, but this is going to be a speaking activity. Like for example, you have last night, and I'm gonna ask you in general right now, let's do this together, just the first one. Is this expression specific or not? This one, it's last night. Simple. Yeah, yeah, exactly, so that's why you gotta say, 
you know, without reading, sin leer, you know, without reading the rest of the uh, statement. Or you can say, last night I lost my kids. I have to call my flatmate. Flatmate is a uh, uh, roommate because this is in Great Britain, okay? So this is a, in London, in England, all right? Flatmate, like a classmate, but in this case, it's a roommate, so let me in. And then if you don't see any expression that, that tells you when the action happens, that's the present perfect, okay? So right now, uh, let me uh, send you to the breaker rooms so you can uh, actually practice and then practice the conversation and then this uh, fill in the blanks as well, all right? All right, so here we go. All right, so Margarita is with Raquel, Jocelyn with Nati, Edwin with Jose, and Adriana is alone, but maybe someone else is going to join. Otherwise, I'm gonna practice with you, Adriana, okay? So in a second, I'll be sending the, uh, the second part, which is this grammar to you, okay? Just one second. All right, so uh, Tanya, are you alone over here? Like, you don't have a partner to practice with? Es que se me apagó la computadora, no me fije que se quedó sin batería. Ah, okay. Okay, so I think uh, there's someone alone over here, okay? So I'm gonna send you with uh, Adriana, all right? Okay. Okay, <clears throat> just one sec. No se le dificulta mucho hablar, o... No, un poco. Un poco, bye. Sí. Ahí está ya. Con las ganas. Bueno. All right, so hello, Raquel. All right, so. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. All right, so let's let's practice over here, please. Okay. All right, so do you have the conversation with you? Yeah. All right, so let me just open this as well. All right, so just one second. So it's the one, this one, right? Have you have you ever been to, uh, to Asia? That's the one, right? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna practice this two times. The first time I'm gonna be the man, and then the second time you're gonna be the woman. Well, I mean, right, right, so, right, so, okay. okay. So have you ever been to Asia? Yes, I have many times. Where have you been? I have been to Japan, Korea, and China. Have you been to Indonesia? No, I haven't. No, I haven't been there yet. All right. So in this case, conversation two, you're going to be the man. I'll be the woman. All right. Okay. 
Eh, es, pienso yo. <laughs> Cierto. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have you ever eaten Japanese food? I have. I have eaten lots of Japanese food. What food have you eaten? I have eaten sushi, ramen, and yakisoba. Have you tried not to? No, I haven't, but I heard it's disgusting. All right, so now I'm going to be the man, you'll be the woman. Have you seen the new Star Wars movie? Yes, I have seen them all. Have you seen all the Spider-Man movies? No, I haven't. I have you? Yes, I have. have you? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I have seen them all except the, the latest one. Oh, I have seen that one. It's good. Yes, you know, in real life, I, ha I have only uh, seen the first one, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Which is from seven, 1976, I think, or something like that. All okay. right, so conversation four, you're going to be the man and I'm going to be the woman, okay? Uh, okay. Have you tried the new cafe? No, I haven't. I haven't had time. Have you? I have. It is really nice, but I've only been through once. I've heard it's really nice. It is. I mean, I mean yeah, it's, <laughs> sorry. Go it ahead. is. <laughs> they have a new, they have a nice job. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Here, there, there, there's a mistake over here. It says they have done a nice job. So there's a mistake over here. All right. Nice. Uh, but let's practice this. All right. So the first one we said, uh, it says, last night I lost my keys. I have to call my flatmate to let me in. What about number two, Erica? I have lost. I think I have lost my keys. Can you help me look for them? Yeah, that's right. Because maybe uh, you just lost them. You cannot find them. Uh, you don't know if, uh, you know, you lost them forever, but you're still looking for them. So that's the context. So yeah, that's correct. You're gonna say I have lost my keys. So help me, please. I can't find them. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Number three. It says visit Paris three times. So if it says a frequency, what what do we use in here? I have visited. Correct. Three mm -hmm. times. And why not the simple pass, uh, Raquel? Why not? Uh, I have no in last year. I visited Paris. Yes, because this, right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Correct. It says last year because it's a specific, right? It happened mm -hmm. last year. That's it. You went last year before COVID nineteen. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now let's do, let's do something. I'm gonna send you to uh, a breakout room, but in this case you're gonna you're gonna choose. All right. So I have Jocelyn and Natty, Edwin and Jose, Adriana and Chav, Adriana and Tanya. Which one would you like me to send you to? So you can practice these uh, sentences. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. So may, let me send you right now. The things that I have to visit the other rooms. Okay. That's mm -hmm. why. All right. All right. So hello. Are you uh, practicing the uh, second exercise, which is the grammar, or you finished already? Uh, we finished the, the first one. I think you actually went to the bathroom. Okay, I'm going to send you company, you know, extra company, Raquel, all right? Yeah, she joined already, I think. All right. Uh, let's see, is she joining? Mm, I don't think uh, so. No, she's not here yet. No, but uh, no, I sent her. I'm sorry, let me, you're number two, right? Yeah. Yeah, Raquel is going to be a little bit mad because I sent her once to one room and now I'm sending her to you right now. <laughs> and she hasn't joined this one yet. All right. But in the meantime, let's try to practice because that's the reason you, you are here. Okay? okay. And here I have this. All right. So what about number five? I have uh, my, my great-grandmother for a few years. She died when I was eight. I number five, yes. I knew mm -hmm. my great grandmother for a few years. She died when I was eight. Correct. And this happens many times, right? It happens that 
your grandparents or your great uh, grandparents that are bisabuelos, okay, in this case, uh, you are like a, a child when they mm -hmm. die. So that's why you can say, I remember, you know, my grandparent only like very little, you can say that. Yes, I knew my great grandmother, right? Number six, what about number six, Raquel? Welcome. Thank you. Yes. Um, I have known Julie for three years. We still meet once a month. Correct. Yes. Maybe you met Julie in 2017 and right now it's 2020. So you had met Julie for three years already. You had been friends mm -hmm. for three years. Yes, that's right. All right. So keep on practicing, please. I'm just going to visit some other rooms over here, please. Okay. okay. All right. The parties. Can I help you if you want, if you like, or you're yeah. good, or you're good. <clears throat> and the 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 second, uh, I have uh, lost my keys. Yes. Can you help me look? To Yes. Uh -huh. Es como que la acción sigue, continúa. Sí. sí, porque no las ha encontrado todavía. Uh -huh. Uh, that's the thing. You, you're, still, you're still looking for them. So that's why. The difference is on the first one. You say, I lost my keys, la, uh, my keys last night. And I had to call my, my roommate to let me in. But right now I lost them again. <laughs> I have lost them again. <laughs> las he perdido otra vez. I have lost them again. So look, uh, help me please. <laughs> Yeah, the auxiliar I'm, have. Have, yes, you have to use have. have. I, I have. Is it auxiliar? Have. Yes, have, exactly. Have. The verb in pass. Yes, and then you say have. You know, you say uh it, el auxiliar is have a or a. And then el verbo is uh, lost, visit, no, mm -hmm. no. Okay. Y la traducción es he perdido, right? Yo he perdido. Mm -hmm. o ella ha perdido, right? Okay. So that's the translation of that. Okay. All right. So let's continue over here, please. Let's see. What about number 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 uh, five over there? What about number five? I have. Uh huh. I have. Are you sure? Mm. No. I uh, said I. I knew. No. Mm -hmm. I, knew. I knew. I knew. I knew. I knew my grandmother for a five years. Uh -huh. Ajá. She for died a few when years. I was eight. Uh -huh. Exactly. O sea que usted estaba muy chiquito Ay. para acordarse de su bisabuela. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the point of the O sea, usted solo la conoció, tuvo la oportunidad de estar con ella por poco tiempo. That's the point of the door. <coughs> mm -hmm. All right. Okay. That's the point. Yes. yes. All right. So, uh, what about the next one over there? Yeah, you can go, let's say, one by one over there. So, you go one, let's see, what about the next one? It says, Julie, for three years, we still meet once a month over here. Uh-huh. Is that, is that I have... None, el, el pasado participio es none, con una N, no, none. I have mm -hmm. known or I knew. I have known. Ajá, uh -huh. I have known, right? Why? Why I have known and no, I knew? Because uh, the auxiliar, the have. Sí, pero esa es gramática. Pero ¿por qué usted pone el present perfect y no el simple past? Uh, por lo, um, we stay meet one, once a month, aunque lo continúa. Exactly, the action is, is still continues, right? The, the action continues. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the action. Yeah, it still continues. Yeah, that's the point of it. And that's the key. Esa es la clave, de hecho. 
That's the clear. Con la abuela, ¿qué pasó? Solo la conoció por poco tiempo. But with Julie, you, you have been friends for three years. So that means, Tania and Adriana, let's say that you have been friends for three years. You met each other three years ago. Or you met, you met, uh, so Tania, you met Adriana back in 2017. Mm -hmm. That's an example mm -hmm. over there. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. All right, so continue, please. And let me just uh, visit, visit some of your classmates over here. All right, so I guess, I guess, uh, gentlemen, that you finished already. Am I correct? Uh, so, so. <laughs> you haven't done that one yet? Uh, teacher, that link. I cannot do it, but I didn't see the link. Uh, the link that we work uh, was the pass. Yes. But, but I sent, I think I sent this to the chat, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I sent it over there. It's in the conversation. Oh. When you wrote to me, yeah. when you, you wrote me, uh, teacher, where's the link of the conversation? And I posted the, the, the image be before your, your message over there. Uh, okay. All no, by the same. O sea, well, uh, es el mismo que la, que la primera conversación que tuvimos un audio que nosotros trabajamos. No, pero esta es gramática. La que le estoy mostrando es una gramática. Lo que dice last, last uh, night. Uh, uh, well, sorry, to be honest, because I can't find it. Yeah. You, you cannot find it. That's what you're saying. Yes, no lo encuentro. All right, let me send it again. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm sending it again. Uh, did you get it now? Oh, yes, yeah. Right now, yes. Yeah, and you see, let me just uh, text over here back. This is... Okay. Right, so you just can see this was the one. Can you see the message over there? And just click where I just uh, typed over there. Yeah, it's the same order, but we got to go. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Um, so tomorrow we're going to, I'm sorry, on Monday, we're going to just review a little bit more uh, these topics, okay, these topics that present perfect and, and the simple past. But if you didn't have the chance to finish this exercise, and if you want to do it, go ahead and do it please tomorrow and if you want me to double check it for you send the responses to me in, in whatsapp okay so no problem over there but right now i have to finish the the uh, meeting right now because i have another class and uh, my students are waiting for me already all right okay so remember to to keep on working in the platform yes No, no, no. All right, so hope to see you tomorrow. Or, okay. okay. I mean, bye. on Monday. <laughs> All right, bye.